Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing WarioWare. WarioWare, we're doing some grid. It's been a while since we just did like a normal grid, right? But yeah, so because we did, well, I mean, we finished sci fi. We can tell here. See, these four things are done. But here we don't got anything done, but I did do the boss, so I don't have to worry about that for those six things. Let's just go! Let's just start starting Mona the Weird, and we start with Paper Plane! There's a whole game about Paper Plane, a steered airplane, and avoid the ledges. Have a safe flight! And then you steer. How many again? Fifteen! I'm gonna keep looking here. 15 points of paper airplane All right, like this is not the hardest one But there are moments that are, I think it's because in my brain memory I'm remembering the standalone mini game, which you know is pretty involved But yeah, the the mini game version is just that like it's just Like it's just two turns It's very different than the infinite tower of fresco. Whoa check it out. We're turning. I am a plane. Oh, man. Whoosh. And I remember when I was doing this, for real, very often I would get mixed up, like I would reverse my controls for some reason. And I don't know why. I, I think it's because I put myself in like first person or something, like in my mind's eye, uh, in my mind's concept of what's going on in the game. As I pilot a paper- Oh, I shattered like glass. It's glass paper. It's sugar paper. That's probably it. sugar glass. I don't think sugar paper is a thing. Why would that be a thing? Who would use that? Who would eat that? People that tend to eat. Like, look, when I was a kid, I ate paper once in a while. Like, I'm not saying I made a meal out of it, but if I was oh, what? If I was bored somewhere or something, you know, I. Wow. Okay. Well, I won, but like just barely. It turns out. Whoa. Wow. No kidding. Just barely. Absolute minimum stop of something, but I won. I cleared 15. Gold digger! Clear 10 points. This one needs no introduction. Just pick me a winner. Pick. Alright, we're gonna pick a winner. Here we go! I'm a hand. There's a nose. There we go. We got a nose. We're going to do that again. Except the finger is bigger and the nostrils are smaller. Now we're going- Oh, what? Really? Oh, you are picky. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna restart. Like, I just- Look, man. Like, what is that? Yeah, see, tiny little finger. With, you know, a regular sized nose. But then you suddenly get massive fingers. And it's like, you're very picky. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep restarting until at least I can like win all three. <laughs> like, so you have, it is oddly precise. There you go, there you go. And I mean, level, this isn't really all that different. Yeah, there we go. It's just that, okay, it's, I guess you kind of have a choice with the, uh, Really? Like, I don't know, there's something about this. It's like there's not enough... No? Why is this so hard? Uh, like, why is this so precise? Okay, no, I, uh... I don't think I could have won that. Why am I having so much trouble? Very... God, why? No, I, 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 I will not lose in the first three. Okay, got all three of the first ones. Four, I mean, yeah, the little dial thing will tell you. I don't understand why this is so hard, but it is. Okay, managed to get this one in. I think I'm just struggling to determine like which of the nostril, I don't know, no, like I, I don't know. 
Okay, well, I think I'm safe. I think I- yeah. I have to win at this point, so it's all good, probably. But yeah, like, I- I don't get it. Me- I guess it's just me. I'm just an idiot. I get- I- I basically- I just gave up on that one. I pressed the button immediately. I don't know why! I'm finding this super hard to time. I don't know why. I- I do not understand. Sloppy Salon! Clear 20 points. Give the customer a nice close cut. It's the latest style. A cut. Press A to cut. Just cut this man. Oh, it's a mash. Okay. All right. I mean, look, his face is red. Like he's upset, but he's actually cool with it. Okay. All right. I mean, that's what's happening. That's fine. You know, I guess that's what he needed or he didn't know what he asked for. It's a valid question because I remember when I played this originally, I was confused because like the customer looks upset. Like, it's like, Ugh! but no, you won when that happens. Like, that's just kind of weird. I feel like this game is not like, and, and look, the, the, the barber looks apologetic. Like, he's like, just down on the ground and sad. How is this a victory? This doesn't make any sense. I love how they put the little spiral column barber shop thing on the sign. Just to make sure that we understand that this is a licensed barber. It's not just being done like in the kitchen or something by some rando, like someone who shows up at your house to cut your hair. It can happen. It happens. You got know, like people like um, have trouble like moving around like outside the house for various reasons. You gotta have a barber come to your place, and you know that's probably what's gonna look like. Assuming that your inside of your living space is both green and absolutely featureless, which I mean could be, I don't, I don't know. So I'm not just mashing A, I'm mashing A once the game starts. There's no reason mashing when the game isn't happening. Like, I'm not gonna tire my thumb for no reason. But I do start pressing before the game starts. Especially for, um, you know, when we get to, uh, Level 3, where, you know, the person at the start has, like, a lot of hair to start with. Oh, no, there was a bit of head left on your scalp there. That's not acceptable for Overlord Wario! Oh, man. Uh, yeah, at this speed, kind of hard. Like, I, I could probably mash better to do it better, but I don't want to. <laughs> but, man, mashing can get tiresome, and we're just kind of started. Yeah, so I lost now. Absolutely. It's fine, though. 12 over the limit. That's great. Yeah, that's fantastic. Things are turning around. Check out, it's a saw. I came, I saw 30 points. Saw through the log. How sharp are your teeth? Cut. Yeah, and like you like literally saw with a D pad, right? It's like, uh, 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 yeah. Well, it's a bird! There's a bird inside a lawn. Good thing we didn't saw the bird, that'd be sad. That's a bigger saw. So it's still mashing, it's just that, um, instead you mash directions. So this is a bigger saw, so you gotta do that. Whoa, there's a guy doing exercise in it. That's pretty ridiculous, man. Just the ridiculous does not stop. Would I be better? To keep sliding my thumb, or to use a different thumb? No, I don't think so. I think using... I think it's better to do a smooth movement from left to right like that than it is to like put one one thumb on left and one thumb on right. I think. This is what it's feeling like right now. Wait. Wait, 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 no, wait. I started with the direction and you didn't like it. I think you have to start with right. If you start with left, it doesn't understand it. Like, this is the kind of extremely important data that is extremely important, because otherwise, you know, you got a limited amount of time to saw that log, you know? Oh, wow. In 30, huh? I feel like, I don't know, I feel like this game... I'm finding it a little bit harder than the game expects me to. Okay, no, okay, I think I'm just going too slow. Like, I'm too... I, I think I was just too... Because, like, you gotta keep a rhythm. You can't just spam. Because you gotta make sure that you press them, well, you know, in the right order. So there is a rhythm to follow. And, uh, but you still gotta go fast. Yeah, no way. Alright. I forgot the number. Da -da -da. 
Okay. Alright, that one's done. Alright, here we go. Not quite. I didn't get all the way through. I'm... Yeah, it's 30! Like, that is ridiculous. Man, really? Okay. So it turns out a game is easier than I thought because you can buffer. You can buffer your left and right presses. My first try I was trying to be exact. I, I was just doing the motions way early in the second run and I won with 10 over. So there you go. Air supplies! 25 points! Drop supplies from a helicopter and land them safely on the truck bed keep on trucking but remove the g drop i remember this i remember never failing this because yeah it's, it's just that but like at high speed this is gonna get something i also remember this game being like one of those like you know later levels only annoying ones this was i feel like mona's when i was really starting to struggle with the concept Ooh, too early okay and it's like 20? Alright! Uh, 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 yeah, see, the truck's length changes with the levels. Whoop, there you go. So, you know, while the levels, while they become harder for me, the dropper, technically speaking, they become easier for the driver, because it's, it's hard to drive a truck with a long bed in the back. Wild! That helicopter is tiny, or that truck is giant. I feel like media in general, well, especially video games, sometimes have issues with the scale of helicopters. Helicopters are pretty big. They kind of have to be. Well, I don't know. Like, you can have, like, smaller ones, but they wouldn't be shaped like that. Like, that's shaped like, you know, like a military or, like, you know, heavy duty. You gotta carry an elephant somewhere. It's tiny. But, you know, if you're gonna make it smaller, it's gonna not be any shape like that. You know, it's just, like, a thing of physics. Also, talking about physics, man, do the physics don't care about that box being held, whatever it needs to be, and that's fine with me. Whoops, it didn't even, like, crash on the ground. It fell through the ground. It fell, and then it landed somewhere in Satan's backyard, and it was like, heh heh, free chest for me! And then he blew up! Yeah, that's how it happens. It's pretty wild. I mean, I wasn't there, but my buddy Charlie was, and he told me all about it, and I trust what that guy says implicitly, always, and forever. Have a friend for whom you just trust whatever they say forever. And I'm not saying that you should trust what a person says, I'm just saying, you know, have that type of relationship where you know you're gonna be alright with just trusting whatever, you know, you gotta... Cause and effect here is important. Last game for today! I remember struggling with that one. Crash test! Dummy! And the game knows because it's 10 points. Open the airbag in time to save the dummy! Traffic safety is a must! Deploy airbag. I'll do that. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, so it's like, uh, 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 yeah, there we go. You gotta, you don't want to go too early, otherwise it's gonna bunk his head, and you don't want to go too late, or you're just gonna, it's, it's gonna break his neck. 
You're gonna create a soft pillow for the dummy to just kind of like, ah, this is comfortable. I'm just gonna take a nap here. See? Oh no, okay. I, I, I was not punished there, but probably because it's a smaller level. It's like as soon as you see the screen shake. It's, is it just that button when screen shake? Is it really that simple? There's no real timing here. It's just... Okay. I mean, it's timing, but it is ludicrously generous. Why is this... Why is this a 10 point only? What? No, what am I missing? Whoops. Oh, and if you press it once, you can't bring it back. So that's what makes it hard, I guess. I guess? I don't think that's what airbags do for real. Whoops. But I was not punished. Like, they don't go back into the steering wheel. Whoa. That, uh, that, that was... Alright, okay. So, you know, Dong is like a little baby. He's just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lay down. I'm gonna lay down my face on the soft thing. Whoa! Last second save! Your ears are safe with me, Mr. Dummy. Crashes Dummies was a toy line back when I was a kid and I... Well, see, that's... That's how I always happened when I was first encountering this game. When I was playing the main game. I remember that. It's one of those things that marked me... Ah! Like, you know, like... I don't know, man. You know? I don't know, man. Exactly. I don't know nothing. Okay, at this point, the timing is getting pretty juicy. And I died forever. Maybe that's why they put a 10 points. Because it's not that hard in the early game. But once you start to go fast, things kind of get silly. Next time we get here, we're gonna play a thing. But until then, we're gonna play another kind of grid.